back to another video of Good Diary from Mom to Son. In today's video, we're gonna make the most delicious and tasty brinjal in reshado masala. Let's go. Hit the subscribe button like this and hit the bell notification like this. Let's go. Today we are making a most delicious recipe and that's the brinjal in reshad masala. For which I have taken a one plum brinjal, three onions, three chilies, two and a half tablespoon of reshad masala and half a cup of dry prawns which are soaked in water. So let's get started. So first we'll chop the onions very fine. Now let's get started. I have taken here a pan. Let it add in about two tablespoons of oil and then we are going to fry the onion. Let's fry the onion it is nice and golden. As the onion is getting fried, let's chop the brinjal. Now here first cut this end part. Then you are going to cut it right in between into two halves. Cut again like this and make nice chunky pieces like this. Fat enough and put them in water like this. In the meanwhile, we have seen the prawns have already become soft. Let's drain the water and apply a little salt and keep them aside. Okay, you can see the onion is already nice and translucent. Now it's time to add in the Rishad Masala. I'm going to use here two and a half tablespoon of Rishad Masala. It depends on how much you require according to the spice. Now for the vegetable, this much is enough. Now cook this, stirring it continuously till the masala releases oil. As you are frying the masala, you can add in the prawns and fry them along with the masala. So here I am adding the prawns and let me fry them till the masala is done. In the meanwhile, slit the green chilies and keep aside like this. As the masala is frying, I'm just going to add a small piece of joggery in this. Because joggery enhances the taste of this dish. And go on stirring it till you see the masala is done when it is releasing oil in the sides. So this requires a lot of patience because you have to cook your masalas nicely to get it nicely done. And you can see the masala is nicely fried. And you can see it is already started releasing oil. This is the process we require. Now you need to add in about 2 cups of water in this masala. So that we make a nice gravy. And here we go. Add little by little. And go on stirring it to make a nice gravy. We want to make a little bit thin gravy because the brinjal will absorb all the water. So you have to check in after adding the brinjal if you still require to add in more water. Now add it here all together 2 cups. Now let this come to a simmer. Now let's check it. And here you can see the masala is already simmering. Now first goes in the green chilies which we have slit. Let's give it a good stir. Now we add in the brinjal cubes which we have kept aside. Here goes. Now the brinjal it absorbs the liquid. So, so that you have enough gravy in this masala. Now 
Now let this be dipped in this gravy. Now cover the lid and we'll cook this till the brinjal becomes soft. So now let's check. This has been cooking for almost about 6 minutes now. And here our brinjal looks so delicious. You can see they have become nice and soft. This is how we want it. Let's check the taste and see what we require here. Yes, we require salt to taste. Now give it a good stir and be gentle because the spring jar has already become nice and soft. Let it be nicely stirred. Now check once again. And it is perfectly done. Now this dish tastes much better the next day. So here it's already done. You can see the brinjals have become so nice and soft. I'll put on the gas and you are free to enjoy. And guys, your brinjal in Rishal Masala is now ready. It's sweet, tangy, sweet and spicy and amazing. So guys, make it now. Subscribe, like the video, follow and share. Okay, follow me on Instagram Masterclass. Welcome back. Uh, while you're yet here,